Hey everyone, we're back talking about knee pain and today we're going to focus more on the hips function in relation to knee pain uh, because the hips are unique. So throughout the body, there's this thing called the joint by joint approach where each joint is kind of has a primary function or a role um, for what it provides to the body. So, and it's an alternating pattern as you work your way up um, alternating between stability and mobility. So if you look at the feet, the feet are meant for more stability. And then if we move up to the ankles, that's more mobility. And then the knees are stability. And then the hips are unique because they provide a combination of both of those stability and mobility. And then if we go to the low back, stability, mid back, mobility, and so on and so forth, all the way up to the head. So when someone is dealing with knee pain, it's very important to check the hips because most commonly, granted we ruled out any structural damage, any tears of any sort, the most common dysfunction that we see occurs at the hip. And it could be you know, lacking the stability aspect, it could be lacking the mobility aspect, or it could be a combination of both. And when we are lacking something at the hip, a lot of times we feel the pain in the knee. So it's important to look just, or it's important not to just look at the knee, but also look at the function of the hip. So when we look at the stability aspect of it, this is important for anything that's kind of in the, the sagittal plane where you're you know running, legs coming up and down, even like things like cycling, walking. Um, the stability aspect is important because when we, if we're lacking this here, the specifically the gluteus medius is what is the, the primary muscle that helps to stabilize that, that side when that foot hits the ground. So if we are limited in our ability to, or our strength, or our ability to provide that stabilization there, every time we hit the ground on either side, whichever side is involved, that knee's gonna start to kind of collapse and dive towards the middle. And over time, the, the knee's gonna become irritated, um, potentially kind of inflamed, and then just over time, you're gonna develop that pain. So if that's the case there, we need to, we need to look at strengthening that hip exercises to, to strengthen and start to stabilize the hip more. Now, when if on the other side here, if mobility is the issue, when we're doing those kind of motions, there's no natural give um, for that leg when it hits the ground to kind of naturally come towards the middle a little bit. We need a little bit of that, but again, if we're lacking the stability, it's gonna dive too far towards the middle. But if we are very limited in our mobility, our flexibility in the hip there, then there's gonna be almost no give at all. So that can also kind of go down the chain and lead to some knee issues down the road. So most of the time, this is this is a mechanical issue. So it can be, it absolutely can be fixed. It's just figuring out whether stability is the issue, mobility is the issue, or if there's a combination of both going on that we need to kind of pick and choose exercises on both sides. So going back to the mobility part of it, um, just kind of a little extra here, when, if we're very limited or tight through the hips, the low back, which is meant for stability, as I said earlier, it becomes more mobile, it becomes working harder, it becomes to kind of work more than it needs to. So hips through here tight makes the low back work harder, makes it become more mobile than it needs to be, and it can lead to low back pain stuff as well. So the hips are extremely important. Um, when somebody is dealing with knee pain. So it's not just a matter of looking at the knee itself. We got to look above the area. We got to look below the area at the feet. Um, and we'll try to dive more into the, the ankle and the foot uh, aspect to knee pain as well here soon. So I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this or if I didn't hit anything. And um, we will see you soon.